Okay, we're going to uh, model the um, clamp bracket. Uh, this can be found on the uh, SolidWorks Tutor.weebly.com website. And we're looking now at um, producing this initial sketch um, using the center point art first um, with real thought to um, how we might produce the model later on. So if you if you have the uh, drawing in front of you, you'll see uh, the bracket has um, a boss at the at the top of it to uh, make the thread a bit thicker for the the, the clamp item. Uh, and so we think, how can we draw that uh, later on? Um, and to keep a sort of minimum number of features to um, sort of uh, prevent the need for new planes, we can produce the initial sketch below the origin. That will give us a plane to sketch onto later and um, extrude the boss element of the model. So you can see here we now have um, the sketch uh, roughed out, uh, a center line to help us uh, with our dimensions and we've already added some relations. We've made sure our lines are vertical and tangential to the arcs. Uh, we can start dimensioning to work towards a fully defined uh, sketch. And if you want to produce this model, um, the, the the drawing for it uh, for the V block assembly can be found on on the website. So we can see there, 32 millimeters. Um, we're setting the top of the outer arc below one millimeter below the origin below the top plane so we're going to dimension one side of uh, this model make sure we've got uh, tangency there uh, fully defined one side of the model so we're going to use relations now to save over dimensioning and uh, collinear relations We'll set uh, the height correctly. And now selecting, um, holding down control, selecting three items here, one of them being a center line, we can add a symmetry mate. It's a bit like um, adding a mirrored um, feature um, without using the mirror at all. Uh, mid plane, again, thinking about the origin. Uh, so a mid plane extrude there keeps our origin exactly at the center. And we can see our top plane is exactly where we want to sketch the extruded boss. And then to finish this model, there's uh, some chamfered items and a threaded hole where we would definitely use the, the hole wizard tool. Uh, tangential um, to the outside edge, fully defined with no dimensions. And the end condition, we're going to tell the system to find the end of the extrude by selecting up to surface and that's basically done uh, for more info check out the website thanks for watching